babes. Morning gangsters. Morning pimps. It's Monday. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's Monday. And I have one goal for the day. I just clean up this monstrosity and start packing. But I also have a vlog that I need to really quickly finish editing and then we need to go to Starbucks to upload it and make the thumbnail. Last night, I got a really sweet DM from a girl asking if I was okay because I hadn't posted in a few days. Yes, I am good. I had some very discouraging finals the last two days and also leaving was really sad and emotional. Thursday, I spent the whole day with Nick and I just didn't feel like filming it, but I am all right. I was just so anxious the last couple of days, but I'm not anymore. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling like myself. I'm feeling so excited to go home. I'm feeling so blessed that I have work so that I'm not doing nothing. I feel blessed that I'm making money. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a second. So I successfully went to Starbucks and I successfully finished editing the video and I successfully made a thumbnail. However, the Starbucks Wi-Fi is apparently dog shit and I need to find a different Wi-Fi source to upload this video. So we are going to go to the school drive there we're gonna sit in the parking lot and i'm gonna try and upload it because i know the school wi-fi can upload videos because i've done it all semester the only thing is i hope the school wi-fi actually still still wi-fi's i don't know why they would just shut off wi-fi for the summer but god who freaking knows i'm gonna miss these little roosters <laughs> look at them like they're just they're just bop bop bopping away i'm not gonna get that back home well i actually am because my neighbors have a rooster but but like still i'm not gonna get these roosters i'm not gonna get the annoying wake up calls at 3 a.m kinds of roosters <laughs> so sad i'm gonna miss this place so much where did the time go literally where did the time go the fact that i am packing today is so sad to me like i actually have to pack all my stuff today but it's okay because i get to see my mommy and my daddy and my doggies and I'm so excited. And my friends. Oh my God, I miss my friends. I miss my friends so much. Oh, we're so in business. Guys, we are so in business right now. Oh my God, this is gonna upload. I bet you it's only gonna take like 15 minutes probably. That is definitely like my last beach vlog, which is crazy. <laughs> crazy, last beach vlog. And then I'm leaving and I'm gone and you won't see me ever again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. I was also watching that vlog for some reason. I'm like deadpan for most of it. Every joke I make, I make it so this is the tone of my voice when I'm making a joke. This is the tone. You know what I mean? I was feeling nice and nice and that day, I guess. I'm excited to upload again. I love uploading on YouTube. I just forget to do it sometimes. I just made myself some lunch, but I cannot stand being in my little dungeon. Gross, messy, dungeon, dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb room anymore. So we're gonna eat in this lovely living room that I never, ever come to. Look at the clouds. I mean, look at the mountains, look at the clouds. It's uh, the most stunning view in the whole entire world. Beer beat. Ugh. I don't know what's funny. This is the exact meal that my grandma feeds her dog. Literally just plain chicken and rice. It's usually out of one of these little glass containers. So if that doesn't make you excited to eat lunch, I don't know. I don't know what will. Let's taste it. Ha! Let's not taste it. Random pot. This is for all of my other small YouTubers who are watching this video. If a brand reaches out to you and says, we want to collab, we want to send you free product, blah, 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 some sort of exchange of a product or of mo like money, make sure either A, it is actually a gift and it's done in a way that's like you get a, you give them like your information, never too much information. You get all that they need if they're just sending you a gift is your name and your address. They should not be asking for any money. They should not be asking for you to pay shipping. They shouldn't be asking for you to give them your credit card information for any reason. That's number one, okay? It's free. If it is not free, then it is a scam in some way. They are a company that is not sustainable, that doesn't care about their customers, and is simply trying to push some weird, not nice clothing out. And you paying shipping is you buying the product. Essentially, that product probably costs them the same amount that it costs for whatever shipping costs they're putting, if that makes any sense. And number two, make sure they're not asking for any taxpayer ID information because that means that it is going to be put on your W-2, W-2, W-9, whatever. 
It is going to be cut in your taxes. It will be marked as income and you will have to pay taxes on whatever the monetary value of the item is. I'm just saying this and putting this out there because there was a whole thing with a bigger creators, obviously, but not like too big that they could have lawyers and management teams and stuff like that. They went on a brand trip and the brand gave them so much free gift so that the brand could put it as a tax write-off. And then all of these, these influencers ended up having to pay taxes on all of them and they all owed like $10,000 which is insane. Obviously, I'm not nearly at that level, but it is important to start looking out for yourself when you are because if you get a nice little nice little message from the IRS, you're not going to be very happy. I experienced with Grande, like Grande Blash, you know, like their products and stuff. They reached out to me. They were like, we want to put you on the PR, but they were doing it in a really weird way where they wanted my, my W9. They wanted my PayPal so that they could send me money. And then I had to go onto their website to buy the product for myself. It's very clearly a way for them to just be able to put it as a tax write off and help their company. And it is very clear that that money would be going towards taxes next year and I don't want to pay taxes on something that's supposedly free. So I'm just putting that out there for anyone. If you do do any sort of collaboration, you're getting any money, put some of that money aside. If, uh, monetization money, put some of that money aside because you will be paying taxes on it if you start making enough that you actually have to pay taxes on it, which you probably will. Just a little heads up, just looking out for everybody because I need, I need you guys to be protect protected. Be smart. YouTube, treat it more like a business than a hobby sometimes when it comes to mo money and stuff. It is a business, you're getting money for it, you're getting paid for it. It's not just like someone gave you a $20 bill on the street. It is money, actual money that is going through the government. The government knows you're getting that money. Money so you don't have to end up <laughs> finding, scrambling for money if tax season comes around and bites you in the butt. That's my advice of the day. try so that, so that then everything that's on the floor is stuff that's not clothes and I think it'll clear up I think it'll really clear up that area and this under desk situation I don't know I'm just trying to do something organized here but there's like no organization because there's nothing like I can't organize anything I literally have nowhere to put anything but I just wanted to have some sort of order to it I'm just I'm thinking about coming here in August and walking into my room and it looking like this and I'd be like there's not even room to bring furniture in here there's not room for me to do anything so that's what we're gonna work on I'm also listening to circle time with Kelsey and Cody in case you guys were wondering what podcast I'm listening to all right everybody packing update so, as you can see, this corner looks so much better, but that is simply because it has all migrated to everywhere else. But there's a little more organization now, and I started packing. So, that's awesome. But I have some stuff packed. All of this is like random stuff that's just gonna stay in these bags, which is fine with me. This, I think I'm gonna leave in this in this bin. It's also just random stuff. But overall, overall, everything's actually looking like it's got a place to live, which nothing had a place to live just a, just a sh few short minutes ago. I'm gonna go take a shower and hopefully my hair will be dry before I have to leave for work. It's 1.40. I need to leave around 3.10 or 3.15 for work. I'm a little tired, but I'm feeling a little relieved, I would say. So, it's good.
illicit affairs. Holy, holy moly, y'all. She, <laughs> she looks amazing. She looks incredible. She looks beautiful. Oh my God. Literally just, yep. I did that. I did that. Okay, so basically all of those bags that were over here, I consolidated everything and it's all just in here now, but it's all like, well, relatively organized, you know? This is my packing mess, so this is stuff that's already packed. I need to put those boots in, my camera stuff, all that needs to go in there. But it's all done, and it is 2.40, which is like a perfect time for me to go upstairs, have a quick snack, and get to work on time. I also never did a fit check. Um, I'll wear my Sambas with this bad boy, but cute little urban tube top, so cute, and my shorts I had on earlier. That's it. So basically, I accidentally filmed about every single thing that I filmed today, including my entire coming home vlog in slow motion, including this outro clip. Here's the outro. I'm pretty much just yapping about how I'm home this weekend. I got a new editing software. It's going to take me a quick second to get used to it, but I have a really exciting video that's going to challenge me creatively that I'm really excited about. So that's why I care so much about this editing software. That's basically all I said. Like, comment, subscribe, please. I love you guys. And I'm so sorry about this little mishap, but also sneak peek into my coming home vlog. I'll try and make it interesting and funny, I swear.